Mazar of Capicola seems to have filled in a bit of a gap as far as tourism in Valletta is concerned. From the point of view of the tourists, they want to see things which they find are interesting. This house perhaps is interesting. It is a house of uh, Knights of Malta, uh, built in the 1500s. Uh, it's, a, it's a palazzina. Uh, it's got a set of rooms, very typical, the enfilade one behind the other. The, 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 the shape and the manner, the way it's built, it is very typical of the times. It's been through being the property of the Admiral of the Order, Don Pietro La Rocca, in the 1500s. It stayed with the Knights until 1780. And then, one fine day, it was sold to a Maltese family in 1780, a family called Sant Cassia. And for the next 200 years, it's been in Maltese hands. Today, my family is the third Maltese family in this house. We are not a museum but we have become a bit of a relic. All the other houses like us practically in Valletta and our banks and offices and shops. And this one remains a Maltese house with a Maltese family in it. And it opens to the public. It gives people the opportunity to have a look and see what it's like. It's, it, it's got aspiration. It's got our taste. It's over the years. It's got things which people like to collect in Malta. And from that point of view, we thought it might be a good idea to try to preserve this house. Yeah. And the other thing which is a great attraction in this house is when you go underground. We've got some wonderful shelters. Uh, people, uh, especially school children, I have to keep promising them if they're good upstairs or while looking at the formal drawing rooms, they're going to have a lot of fun because it's, they're going to be able to go down to the bottom of 